Hey guys, this is Game Explorer. Welcome to another episode of Generation Zero. And today I'm going to show you how to take out a harvester. This one is a military grade in under three minutes without pulling the hunters. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's a little background. Uh, there was a beacon out here. I destroyed it. I, I pulled some hunters. It may have been this guy's hunters. And I destroyed all of them. Um, I didn't even realize that this guy was out here until I went to go finish off the beacon. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to shoot him. And you know what a harvester normally does. He's going to call in his, his hunter escort, right? So we're, right now, he just huddled up right there. He's calling him in. What I'm going to do is give him give a couple shots off just because he's easy target right now. And right there, the hunters were called in. I'm going to give him about 10 seconds without shooting at him so I don't immediately call the hunters. And as soon as he takes a few steps for me, towards me, I'm going to start shooting him again. And what that does is it leaves his escort behind. So we're going to be able to just pull him, pull the harvester, and leave the hunters behind. And what I'm trying to do is take out those rocket pods on his back. If you don't take those out, as soon as he launches those, that's, that seems to be some kind of a signal to the hunters. And they'll, they'll all come running. So you want to make sure those are taken out. I think at this point I have them taken out. I can't see the fire just because of the distance that would normally be on top of them. Um, so I'm just moving on to other parts and you know, taking off his armor plating on his legs and then I'm gonna shoot beside his jackhammer head there. And uh, He's pretty much toast at this point. I'm not even gonna waste 50 cal ammo on him here in a minute. I'm just gonna use a few more rounds on him just to be sure. But as we're about to see, you can see now that those rocket pods are on fire. So there's no chance of him launching a rocket. He would have already launched by now anyway. You have to make sure you take out those rocket pods. But as soon as you do that, the rest of it, it's going to be pretty easy. You can see he's, he's getting pretty close to me now. I'm just going to switch over to my AI-76 and start looking for weak points. Right there on the front of the leg. Did you see that? I'm going to... See the top of the leg, there's no weakness here. But as soon as I get down here, I start hitting components. Harvester has nothing to hit me with. I mean, I guess he could gas me if he got closer, but he just seems to be content just to stand there and take a beating. So we've finished off that leg now. Now we're going to start hitting for the components on the other leg. And this guy's about done. He is... Well, there you go. He's finished. Look how simple that was. You do have to make sure you're in an extreme distance when you start this fight, otherwise you'll just pull the hunters. But if you are and you're patient, look what you can do. You can take out your harvester. You can see there in the background, the hunter um, was not disturbed. And then we get some pretty good loot to boot. Get an extended mag for my AI-76 that I didn't have. That's it. That's how you do it. Go kill yourself a harvester in under three minutes. This is Game Explorer. Please like, please subscribe. Put in the comments what else you want to see. I'm really enjoying this game right now. I'd love to make some more videos, talk to you. Um, catch me on Twitch at Game Explorer Official. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.